Hi guys. Probably from PA Brew News. I don't know what that opening was all about, but there you go. If it's not a shit show, it's not a PA Brew News video. So anyway, <clears throat> bad already at the start. Um, fortunately, the kittens are somewhat busy, I guess, so they're not... I spoke too soon. Generally, they've been quiet in the last couple minutes. So, what we're going to do today, I got a request, basically, uh, from someone, basically, to do, like, a Blue Waves kind of a painting. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do that, but that's how we're going to we're gonna do it with that. So, basically, we have a little piece of tape around here, and I'm going to use that as basically my make sure I have a clean horizon. That's my only thought right now. I'm kind of going into this. Don't really do... Uh, what am I trying to say? Don't really do seascapes, but here we're going to go. We're going to try to do a, a seascape. We're going to see what we can kind of come up with. So, whatever. Whatever. We dance in the sky. Spots open just to see what happens. That's yeah, pretty much good. I think that's good enough blue anyway for what we're doing. Clean the brush off. Wish I could do it just like Bob Ross does, where you can just pound it and pound it right, right on the thing. But there's, if you do it that way, you're gonna get crap everywhere. That's just the reality of the whole situation. So. Alright, let's go into some white. That little white in this. This is really, I just got some new white, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because it seems to be amazingly thin. To the point where it seems hard to work with thin. So I don't know how that's going to... I don't know how that's going to help me later, but this white just seems to be extraordinarily thin. And of course, with this whole style of painting, you want to use a very thick paint and then transcend to a thinner and a thinner and a thinner paint. So I don't know how this is going to work out for me, but let's go to dance in some little sky, some little cloud shapes. Just like that. Rub them in. Just rub in some little cloud shapes. No big deal. Here, same thing. Go dance around, play. Who cares? Who cares? This one goes that way. Flip them up. Go across. Yeah, I mean, just you can just tell the more you use this, that this this white that I'm using now is just so so thin, so thin, amazingly thin. So I don't know what someone in corporate decided. Hey, if we thin out this paint, we can make more of it, and it'll be cheaper. So it almost seems like something like that happened. Hair on my cloud. Sometimes they're up bugger to get off. Especially when you're using really thin paint. Funny how that works. I don't to reload that. Reload the brush. Come on here. Move in another cloud right there. Switch it up. And there you go. Pretty simple. Simple little sky. Seems pretty easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thanks for uh, whoever's watching. Glad you stopped in. Clean some brushes. Why the heck not? Why not? Please speed the fuck out of it. There you go. Seems like a pretty simple little sky. Again, this white paint, man, it is thin as heck. I don't know why they ever, whoever was on the board that said that's okay, but 
they did it. Just pull the tape off, and you got yourself a nice little horizon. I had drinking one. I believe that was drunken one. Saw it out of the corner of my eye, just stopping his eye, saying hello to you. All right. Now we have liquid white here, here for the base, which again is another damn hair. However, you couldn't put liquid white here or else the tape wouldn't stick. So basically, you want to come in here, grab what you have, and kind of work it around. Get the liquid white. Same thing if you're doing a black gesso. You can't put the you can put the gesso on, but you can't put the color and the oil on. So you have to do that afterwards. I have to do that afterwards. Let's get this on there. It takes a little bit. I don't want to add a bunch of more because I don't want to get this too thin. Just kind of rub it in, rub it in some oil to work with. Because we do a wet on wet painting style. Oh, there's another hair. Get hairs. Unbelievable amount of hairs. Okay. That works. All right. Okay. First thing we're going to do to make it easy, I guess we'll just take a little white. Already mixed up a little bit of the lavender color. Just like this. I'll do a little bit more white. Just like that. We're going to figure out. Oh boy. Let's look at this and just kind of figure out where our wave is. Eh, kind of. There. Kind of comes up. Curls over that way. And there. And probably something like that. Yeah. Whatever. And there's another one that kind of. Here. Another that will go here, and then vice versa, blah, 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 blah. Whatever. It's not like I know what the ocean looks like anyway. I live in PA. You know? <laughs> so, it just gives us some idea of where, where to start from. I'll uh, just leave that dirty for now. What the hell? Okay. And take a big brush. Let's go through some lavender colors. And just kind of uh, find out where you are. Start working it in. Nice and slow. Don't want to ruin the horizon you made too much. It's kind of why I like doing dark gesso on paintings and stuff. So because the color's already there then. You already painted the color on. And you just slowly accent it. With this, you gotta really throw paint around to get all this color in. It takes a little bit of time if you're trying to make a really pretty horizon because already there's a couple times where I went above the horizon I can see it already. Paint that in, la 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 la, pull it down. So that's, you're just throwing in color right now, that's all you're doing. Blocking it in. You can do this with your shoe if you wanted to. <laughs> Got to fill, just fill the whole thing up. Who cares? Who gives a shit? Tapping some blue just to accent that. Tapping some blue just to accent what you're doing. Because I guess water is supposed to be blue. I guess. There you go. <laughs> and then just call it down and walk away and have a beer. Pretty much. There you go. Okay. Well, I guess that's what an ocean base is supposed to look like, I guess. Huh? Whatever. I guess so. Okay. Now, let's get some mess going on. Okay. So, we got one wave. We already said. 
gonna be right here. So here, 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 there. That's gonna be one of them. All right. I need to throw some a little bit more white on this situation, just so we have some more. This is so thin. I cannot. I spent a lot of money on this paint, and this paint, this new Bob Ross paint, is like cream. It's really thin, and that's not what you want. And the only reason I'm mentioning it is because with this painting style, thin is not what you want. You really don't want thin paint. Okay, there's another one. Uh, just does the same thing back here, I think we said. Something like that. And there's another one here. It goes here. Something like that. Kind of opens up like a fan a little bit. Uh, it just kind of goes here and here. And that's gonna push over here that way, so then there's probably gonna be another one here. Maybe some stuff there. Okay. All right, here we go. Get some of that. Blue, blue, blue. Right now we're just gonna do blue. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, hmm, let's see. Let's take these top of this wave. We'll just start making little things like this. And we're just gonna start working on the trough of the wave. Little back and forth, nothing big deal, no big deal. Little troughs. I ran out of color there. Load it up again. Load it again. Load it up. Thing with this one. You just keep doing it, have fun. Whatever. Not really good, like I said, I'm not really experienced in doing ocean scenes, but. Doesn't mean you can't have fun doing them. Then you can go back through here too and, and accent anything that you lose. So it's not a big deal. Just like that. Just kind of swaddle in a little back and forth. Kind of more different ones. They're way back in the way, 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 way back. Just like that. Just wave after wave after wave, dance it in. Just like that. Okay. These are really fun to do on black canvases because color just shows up really really well on black canvases and you can do a lot of crazy things with these this out since there's a lot of blue in there. Go back in. Some more white. Again we'll just kind of highlight what we just did. Reload it. Because sometimes you you lose it. From moving paint around you kind of lose that sharp line that you had. So just reload it. No big deal. Okay. 
If you think it gets too distinct, they just go over it again. Same thing. Takes a little bit. Hopefully, I don't want to spend too too long doing this. So I don't want to. Kind of want to try to make these under around a half an hour. Not sure how long this has already gone, but this is what we asked for, so this is what we're going to try to do. Nice is when you get um, really sunny pictures or, or um, sunset pictures, because then you can actually just dance the dance the sunlight right into the water. Makes it really colorful. Okay, something like that. Something simple. Just won't put that down. And just okay. All right. With this one, let's work on the wave. Let's do the wave. Whoa, big wave. All right. We're gonna come something like that. It looks a little bit messy here. Hopefully we can get everything distinct after we play with it a little bit. Not every one of these paintings is going to be a winner. Let's just say that. Okay, let's go back to our filbert brush. A little bit of white. Mix in some of that. Let's go on a white click. Let's select that with a hint of yellow. Just a hint of yellow. Alright. Alright. Let's go over here. Sometimes sunlight kind of comes through. We'll just blend in this transparency with a little yellow. What we'll just do is just blend it out. Just like that. Okay, let's clean that real quick because you don't want to go back into the thing you just made with a dirty brush, otherwise it's going to go green and, boy, it's going to look like you're swimming in New Jersey if you know what I mean. Okay, clean brush, dance it out, move it around, blend it in, blend it out, perfect, easy, easy. Lemon squeezy. And what I'm trying to do right now is basically just you have dark, then you have light, then you have dark, then you have light. Otherwise, if you just have dark, it won't show. If you just have light, it won't show. So now we're going to make some, oh, let's make some foam. Foamy, foamy, foam. There we go. Let's swirl around. Swirl around. There we go. Blend it up. 
Some happens over here too. Just like that. We're not making the foam as say, we're making the base for the foam so the foam actually sticks out when we put the white on. Because again, we're doing dark and white. Dark and white. Dark and white. Dark and white. Let's see what we can do now. We're going to accent the back still. We're not done with that yet. Put some white on here. And just start. Make the noises if it helps. Reload the brush with the white. Right now, all I'm thinking of is I should stick to happy little trees instead of happy little seas, if you know what I mean. All right. I guess that's not too much of a mess. Okay. So again, take this little brush and just... Off. Take a liner brush and play in dark and light. Remember, we're always playing dark and light. So now we've got some light areas, so now we can just accent, accent it. If it gets too, if you feel that this gets a little bit too defined, you can just simply go back over it. Even make little, you can see through the wave. Kind of comes down, wraps around, just makes little duders that come this way and that way. Something like that. Plays through the wave. Like that. Okay. I don't know what time we're on. I don't think I'm making great time. Alright. Go back into some of that white. And again, same thing. Start moving around. through unfortunately there's a little bit of this going on too
Okay. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Let's just throw a fan brush that way. That happens too. Alright. Throw the white again. Accent. Okay. There. I mean, it kind of looks like an ocean to me. don't know what an ocean looks like, but I'm pretty sure it looks kind of like that. Alright, let's take some of this white. Let's kind of find out where we are and let's go straight down. Start building the idea that there's some land under here. Get us some white. Especially where the that transparency is, make that nice and white. Blend it down. give it a watery sheen. This is what I like to do. Take a knife, go through that white, click, and then just scrub in the water line. I always like that. That's always fun. Then you go another one, just like that. Make another one here, secondary one. Kind of looks like there's a little bit of beach under there. How about this? What is, if it's crashing, let's make it crash on something. So, look at that, I just ruined the painting. How about that? Boom. Ruined it. Not even sorry about it, but I ruined it. Here, and just let's put black in there too, black, brown.
rock right there. Go into the little red, white, make a slew of colors, nice bright colors. Just bright colors. Go up and make a nice little, like a lava rocks kind of a look to them. Oh, dark brown, white, black. Go into it and just kick up a dark side to them. Push up into some of that dark, that brighter paint, and kind of wrap around. Just like that. Alright. Something like that. Make it blue. Just have this rock. Some of that white paint in there. You might even have to put it down just a touch since you got all that paint next to it. Put that down. So we can actually kind of have that go right over it. Oh, when it crashes, so run down, run down the rock a little bit. Set it right in there. Set it right into the water. A little spot. Something like that. And then I'm going to make another one. Heck, why not? Have one right. Right there. Same thing. Put it off. There. Dark. Push up. Right there. Bring it to the other Push up. Right there. Good. Slap, 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 slap. Bring the water. Mm-hmm. Oh, how about that? It's not, hopefully, too horrible. Shaky, shaky. Cleaning my brush. Alright, got some brushes that need clean just right over here for right now, just to get them out of the way. In case 
basically all of them. Any clings? Okay. Here, let's try something out. Let's try something out. Got this kind of scene here. Come on, let's go back into a little bit of white. I like to reinforce that. Reinforce that wire line. And let's Reinforce that one too. Let's add another one, right? Right there. Okay. That's pretty good. And you could put a little brown in there if you wanted really sandy beaches. You could probably even wanted to, I bet you, you could just go right here, a little red, a little white, turn it a little bit of a color, just tap a little bit right here. That'll give you the idea. Go up towards the water. Bring the water down to it. Soft. Very soft. Just like that. And then, again, you have to reinforce that water line just to go in, so. Break it up. Mm -hmm. I also like to just kind of go through the wire lines if you want to and just scare them a little bit. Just so it breaks it up, makes it a little, a little less distinct. Because like you don't know which way they're coming or going or flowing, so kind of like that. And before I get too crazy, I want to want to clean up this last wave we had going on right here. In. Go down. Okay. Clean that on. Again, a little dark. You know. Oh, yeah, just accent that way. That way. You can even have little things that you can see coming through the other waves too. You don't need to leave them out. Don't need to leave them out. The more details you put in these things, Takes a little bit to do this stuff. Okay, so 
my bad. All right, before everyone runs away and leaves me alone, we'll do one more thing. We'll call this one done. I probably went way past the hour I wanted to go to, but or the time limit I wanted to go to, but these things happen. Okay, so go to some brown. Brown, and let's just find... Then just some white. Let's take a little white. Got a bunch of I got so much random white piles of stuff on the thing. Let's take some of it on. I don't know what I'm doing anyway, so. Etch them beside the side. Same thing with this one. Let's break it through. I'm not left handed, so this is really rough for me. Just keep going over it if you think it's too bright. I think it's too bright, just go over it again. Dull it down. that. Some two trees right there. Let's see if we can figure out how to make them two palm trees. Let's see if we can figure this out people. All right. Take a fan brush. We're going to go through some greens, which I don't have any green on there because I didn't think I was going to do it. But we will find green. It is something that we can do. We have the ability to find green. It's somewhere. Well, we use this green. It's not Bob Ross green, but it's green. Okay. Smack some green on the palette. Oh, there's a bunch of green on my finger now too. Great. We got go in here some get it nice and thin. Get this brown like ink. Get this brown like ink. Thin, thin, thin. Thin. Add that green to it too. Smear the green around. Come on, get in there. Blah, 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 blah. Tap it, smack it, get all this color mixed up. It'd be a hell of a palette clean. I know that I'll have to clean like a mofo to get all this off. Okay. Nice and thin. Find out where we are and just reload. This one comes up here, so there's probably one that goes that way, probably another one that goes that way, it goes that way, alright? Now, you just take it and pull it. This one you can see that side too. Like, let's go down there, you know. Just pull it. Pull it one direction or the other direction. Just like that. This one goes all the way off the paper. Just like that. way over here just for the fun of it oh man I'm having such a good time I figured I'd make one a real big one there you go Ta -da. okay well let me show you the picture we just got done doing 
and it's going to take me a million years to clean this up, but hey, what the heck. It was fun. It took a little bit longer than I was going to. I like to stay, I want to try to stay around 40 minutes, but sometimes we go over. Sometimes we go over. Now, I'm sure that I had a, there it is. Pop that away. Okay. Well, let me come over here, grab you, and show you what we did today. Which I think the angle is pretty good. Let's see. There we go. Blue waters, blue waves. Then I added some rocks and some pine and some palm trees just for fun. There we go. Okay. Well, now for my normal sit down. Every time I every time I try to sit down, I screw it up for some reason. Okay, that was the. Uh, Thank you very much. This is my Blue Waves take out of Seascape with palm trees that I just got done doing. And if anyone's wondering, I'm drinking the Southern Tier Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Oatmeal Stout from Southern Tier Brewing Company, Lakewood, New York. Well, that was fun. It's a fun little thing you can try. Um, seascapes are pretty cool. Uh, if you're going to do a seascape, I definitely recommend that you do a nighttime one to give it a go for the first time with a black gesso because painting over black gesso is just, it's an acrylic based paint. You slap it on, it dries, and you put, basically, you try to find a, a paint that is kind of opaque, or less opaque, it's more transparent rather. Slap it on there with some oil, and as soon as you put white paint on there, the colors that happen are just <laughs> unbelievable. Real fun. Mm. This has been another painting with PA Brew News. I've actually had a lot of people say really nice things. I'm really happy people are enjoying it. Um, whether you're cooking, screwing around, or painting with me at one point in time will be fun too. I'm going to try to do it every Sunday. So, And it's always going to be preempt with a beer review. Beer review, painting, every Sunday. So if you see a beer review, you know a painting's coming after it. just got uh, a bunch more supplies to do it I'm thinking next Saturday I'm gonna do another black gesso painting and kind of doing I don't know some kind of enchanted and like looking forest kind of a deal dark forest I kind of like those dark forest paintings especially if there's a little hidden creek or a path or a pond tucked in there so I'm gonna try to do that this was uh, my take on whatever the hell Hawaiian vacation looks like and uh, so there we go. Well, I'll put some unicorns in there and some fairies and some Bigfoots. It's all good. Thank you very much, Drunken One. I hope you guys appreciated it or enjoyed it and all that kind of stuff. This has been Paul from PA Brew News. We're dropping off like flies as far as the viewers go, so I figured painting's done, you're done. This has been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers. If you have any ideas that you guys want to see for next paintings, let me know. Bye-bye.